the one but not the last NHL 23 deep dive video is out. As you all know, there is only one more left, which is Ultimate Team, and I believe we will see it the first week of October. But let's now go and see what a custom league is and what are the changes in the last deep dive video. Franchise mode and the all new custom leagues. We're going to allow players to play with any number of teams, any number of games played, divisions, conferences, really customized leagues to the rosters that they wanted to create or share with others. The new custom league feature will not only allow us to create our own custom league using our own teams created by different content creators, I think that's W straight away, but it also will allow us to use number of teams, number of conferences, number of divisions, the salary caps, there is so many things you can actually change. So in this time, I can say this is a massive W for people who play franchise mode and massive W from EA. If I was like a person who creates our myself content or just enjoys the game by playing franchise mode, this probably is like one of the best features added to the game in a really long time. Dynamic schedules will let you do anything from setting the number of round robin rounds that you want to play. You can even set the number of division games, conference games, interdivision games, interconference games, depending on your league setup. And you can set those from anywhere from 20 to 84. You can set wins from anywhere from one to four points. You can change the points to the losses, or you can change the format in which the playoffs are played. You can also set whether or not the wild card standings format is enabled. And we also have a new thing called the wild card round, which allows you to have a play in round similar to the NHL bubble back in 2020. Depending on the number of rounds you've selected, you'll be able to change the number of games played in each of those rounds. We support one game, three games, five games, or seven games, as well as a two game aggregate. So if you want to play a seven game series where you play the first three games away and then the next four games at home, you can do that if you want to play an alternate schedule we allow you to do that as well if you wanted to change the schedule for the AHL you can do that everything you can do with the NHL schedule or playoff format or the league setup in general you can do that if a player this year creates a 48 team custom roster you're able to go in and after downloading that roster sharing file you'll go into custom leagues and then you can sub in all the teams that the player created if they're not nhl teams into franchise mode in custom leagues and then you can recreate the league in whichever way you want to with those 48 teams there's just so many cool things that our players did last year we really wanted to give them the power to take the next step having fun in franchise mode. When it arrives in November, PlayStation and Xbox players in the same console generation will be able to play against one another across all World of Chill online modes for the first time in franchise history. And now that our matchmaking pools are essentially doubled, you'll be spending less time in the queue and more time on the ice. The early prototype is promising, and we couldn't be more excited to implement this as well as continue to work on connecting our players as best as possible. It's worth mentioning that cross-platform matchmaking is also completely optional and can be toggled on or off by all players. Blocked player list? Oh, please give us this feature in Hockey Ultimate Team. I want to see. <laughs> this will be hilarious if it will be also added to the Ultimate Team because it will make people's matchmatching in champs just so difficult. Because of the expanded matchmaking pools, we've updated our servers to better allocate to where our players are based and added a new server aimed at helping players in the central part of North America. Also, the server thing is absolute mind-blowing. People who spend most of their time in World of Shell can actually choose the servers they want to play at. And people still say that Ultimate Team gets all the cool features. No, you guys in World of Shell gets all, you get all the cool features. One of the largest quality of life asks we get from our community is the ability to open hockey bags faster. This year, we've added the ability to go quickly from one bag to the other, allowing you to open them at a much faster pace than ever before. And the thing you all asked, was open the bags quicker. Here you go. Again, another W for the World of Shell community. We've also added a dedicated strategy screen where you can access our new and existing strategies to fine tune your team play. You'll also find a new wide range of customization options for your team and player. I really want all these customization in Ultima Team. Please, EA. Is it so hard to let us customize our own uniforms, logos, and everything in Hockey Ultima Team as well as World of Shell? That would be mind blowing. Please. Based on your feedback last year, we've tuned the preset attributes on multiple classes to ensure balance. This includes increasing the starting attributes, giving you a higher starting overall to work with. 
We've also added additional loadout slots, giving you more flexibility and choice from game to game. We understand that having to come into NHL and set your team up for each and every game in online versus, that's not where the fun lies. And we want players to get into that next experience, that next game as quickly as possible. And the last thing, this is an absolute game changer for, I think, a competitive scene in NHL. You finally are allowed to save your lineups and strategies and everything in online versus. So technically, when you play best of three or any other tournament, you don't need to change it every single game. You just do it once and then go through all the tournament. It's a really good feature. And I know a lot of people already online are saying that they cannot be more happier that this feature is now being implemented. So this year, we're giving you the ability to save your lines and strategies for online versus. This also partners well with the new strategies that we have in the feature set for 23. And it was important to us that we get this in the game, get you into every match as quickly as possible, remove the work and let you have the fun that you've come to NHL for. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. It will really help me a lot. I'm also live on Twitch five days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So if you want to see any more NHL 23 content, make sure you stop by and have a good one. See you on the ice.